the GMC and the Old Cruiser join forces to build the electric Hummer Overlander. It's going to debut this summer. Now, GMC and the Earth Cruiser Overlander vehicles have announced a collaboration to convert the Hummer EV into something awesome. Yes. So it can do some overlanding. And people who aren't familiar with this, these are modified off-road capable vehicles for long-distance trips. And believe it or not, driving over the harsh terrain. Nothing like you've seen before. You guys heard the Ford Bronco. Well, this is just a step above. A few steps above, I'd say. Now, you as an owner can build your own rig. 100% self-sufficient in the backcountry. Bringing jerry cans filled with extra gasoline is a must. So how is GMC and Earth Cruiser going to overcome the charging issue? That's a good question. I remember back in the day seeing them having charging stations out in the wilderness for Jeep. What are they going to do for the GMC Earth Cruiser? Now the Earth Cruiser certainly has the skills to build amazing overlanding type of, type of driving. With the past experience of the EC Terra Nova, Earth Cruiser EXP and FX vehicles and a core line. Now Earth Cruiser designs these vehicles to drive in the most extreme situations. Now the CEO founder Lance Gillis from the Australian Outback to the Alaskan wilderness and everywhere in between they say that the Earth Cruiser was made to tackle these tough terrain. Now, the future of overlanding is going to be something special, especially when you're thinking about electrification. These are exciting opportunities for overland use. Precise torque control, over terrain, ease of use, in addition to zero tailpipe emissions. And not only that, it's going to be super quiet. So you won't disturb so much wildlife. Now, GMC is also bringing significant off-road knowledge. Look no farther than this. Now the latest is the Sierra AT4X and the Canyon AT4X. GMC has long been the leader in professional grade trucks. They have a hundred years of experience, yes. So this Earth Cruiser is gonna be something awesome. The Hummer EV Overland Concept, again, it's gonna debut late summer. There's some charging issues that's gonna to have to be fixed. And they're talking about the solar panels on the roof and it could be a part of the solution, but solar just not strong enough. We all know that. A logical solution is some kind of gas power generator, which can uh, defeat the purpose of low emissions. This is something different and it's something awesome. Now only Rivian has announced the set of a network. So we'll see what happens and we'll see what's what can possibly happen in this situation? You guys, thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day.